I will say a slight concern is it appears the trampoline has changed. So Wilson, oh mama, it was gonna be a Pikes Peak day. You all know how much I love going up Pikes Peak, but a, a better pivot, uh-huh, there it is, TD number 30. But today, it was all about number three, out of Dove Valley. You guys can go down, you guys can go down. Go, go, go. Good. Those boys, they, they couldn't believe it. They just couldn't, they, they've never seen real football, big football players like three feet from you. The boys were jetted down and saw Russell Wilson like right up front. Oh man, they couldn't believe how big these players were. Anyway, you know what it's like as a kid seeing uh, seeing professional athletes. I remember the first time I saw some professional athletes. For the first, I, was, I, was, I couldn't believe how big they were. Anyway, they were giddy. Okay, let me get this chair going here. Move into position, oh man, boxes, boxes, boxes. And as always, thank you for your patience in this uh, slight, actually, let me move the camera just a little bit here. Is that good? Okay, I'm always losing the box cutters. I don't know what my problem is, but we got the old trusty knife. Shout out to Blake. There we go, everybody. Here's the deal. Um, thank you for your patience. The boys help me at the post office. All right, get these boxes home. And let me just think, wait a second. Oh yeah, so maybe we have, I, I don't know what's in this one. And yeah, postcard, shout out to Brian. Thank you, Brian, for always sending fun postcards. That one was from Toronto. Uh, let's see, oh boy, hold on. Very exciting shoes, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail and the title. Um, okay, let's see, whoa, what is going on? What, okay, what is going on here? All right, this is coming from New York. I've never seen this before. What is going on here? Unpause. Unpause? Wow, that's wild. I've never heard of this running shoe company. That's cool. Unpause? That, that's actually a pretty intriguing midsole right there. Very interesting. Has anybody ever heard of Unpause? Unpause, thank you for sending these. I've never heard of you before, but uh, hey, beholden to no one. There's the outsole, can you see it? Very interesting, you got a little window there into is there a carbon fiber plate in there? This is very, there's carbon fiber in this midsole. Oh my, my, unpause, thank you. Uh, I don't know you, but I love you. So here first, I think you all know what's up there. Hopefully that's what's in there. Oh my, my, whoa, what is this? Whoa, this is craft. I know it's craft. I can just tell it's craft, okay? It's gotta be, maybe it's gotta be craft. I'm okay, I don't know what type of craft, Oh, nope, <laughs> it feels like a craft midsole. Zoomfly5 in the house, thank you, Nike. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Nike Zoomfly5 in for, it's interesting, like the texture on the outsole of this midsole, it feels like a craft shoe, which I don't have one here handy, but anyway, um, I haven't seen any uh, reviews yet. I haven't watched any or read any, so I don't know how people are liking this shoe thus far. I will put it through the paces sooner rather than later. And uh, one, two, and three, boom. Aha, uh -huh. very beautiful. The Invincibles, there they are, the Invincible 2s. I've been waiting for these to test for a long time. Very heavy for a daily trainer, I'll just say it but bouncy, uh, if you wanna really uh, baby your legs out there on the concrete and the pavement and not take too much pounding to those legs, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed the Invincible. It was, it's a strange shoe, unique shoe. I often think that Nike kind of overbuilds their uppers a little bit, like hopefully they changed it up a little bit, we'll see, but we'll definitely do a running shoe battle between the Invincible one and the Invincible two. <laughs> It's an Asics free. No need for a blind test for this one. The Nova 3 in officially. Mm. So I actually saw the prototype for the Nova 3 about a year ago. I wasn't allowed to take any pictures of it or film it, but I met with uh, one of the Nova Black, one of the Asics developers of shoes. He helps develop shoes. And so it was interesting to see the change in the midsole. A little more, I'm guessing, girth, okay? But. Before we proceed, 
Let me go get the scale. We'll put it on the scale. The Nova Blast is over two is over there in this shelf for the eights. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna measure with my uh, caliper. Can I say it like that to see how wide the midsole has changed? How much the midsole has changed with respect to width and girth of the midsole? Then of course we'll do the durometer and the weight. But first I gotta go get the Nova Blast two. It's just right over there. Okay, I'm back. Got to scale. Just make sure we're in frame here. That, I like that gray colorway from the two, I gotta say. So there's the three. Mmm, interesting. Always fascinating. So the Nova Blast 1 gave me blisters on my Achilles tendon. Nova Blast 2 did not. Nova Blast 3, we shall see. It doesn't look like it will, I gotta say. It's coming across quite plush through the heel counter and heel tab thus far. All right, ready for this? Ready? All right, you guys come over here. So you can come over here so you can see. All right, we're looking at 8.9 ounces in my size. Can you see it there? 8.9, soak it in, soak it in. I think it lost weight. I believe it actually lost a significant amount of weight. 7.6 ounces. Oh my, my. 86, I knew it lost, but I didn't realize it was that much. Okay, here we go. You ready for this? We're just gonna fire it up. Fire it up, do, 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 do. Okay, let's move that, here we go. Ready, actually, let me move this up just a little bit. We're going raw and real here today. We gotta be efficient. So I'm actually gonna go in the back. The key is to find, um, you know, a very short, or sorry, a very flat surface. 43, 42. What am I always saying, everybody? Oh, hold on. 43, okay, it's, 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 you gotta be delicate. You can't press too hard, but you gotta press hard enough. I'm going with 43, 43, at least there. Obviously, depending on where you test, can you guys see this? 37, butter. Everybody, what am I always saying? My favorite durometer is 42. Okay, compared to the Nova Blast 2, here we go again, very difficult to find. Interesting. Now this is a midsole that's over a year old. Always keep that in mind. Okay, I'm going 36. Huh. Now that's a little shocking, but let's try and find another spot. I would expect it, uh, 32, 36. Maybe it's a little firmer? So the higher the number, the more firm the midsole is. All right, just so everybody is aware. Can you see it there? Okay, let me just, hold on. It's a little hard, it's a little hard. And again, keeping in mind, all right, yeah, I mean, I'm going with it. I'm going 36, very interesting. Okay, let's just do one more just to confirm here. So maybe it got a little more firm. Maybe it's, maybe it's just because it's right out of the box. You know, it could be. So anyway, we'll remember these numbers for the future and then uh, compare it to, so here's the caliper. Hopefully I can get this to work. I'm actually missing a little battery. Um, okay, so here we go. So what we're gonna do, can you guys see it there? So we're gonna try and find basically the widest part of the heel coming in at 84 millimeters, I believe. Hold on here, let me just make sure. Yes, okay, cool. So 80, so we're going in the heel here. Can you see it? 86 millimeters across that heel, all right? And it, it's a little challenging because you have these, these divots on the outside, but we'll go, we'll go right in that ballpark. And then I think it got wider. Let's see, what are we coming in at? Hold on, 96? No, did it get that much? So that's 96 millimeters across. Wow, obviously you can eyeball it, but it's fun. Oh my, my, yeah, it did. I didn't think it would be that much, but it definitely got wider, everybody. Very interesting. I will say a slight concern is it appears the trampoline has changed, okay? So <laughs> the, the, big, the big push that I felt two years ago in the Nova Blast 1 is that the decoupled groove was nice and, and deep and the two as well, this one over here. I'm sensing it's not quite as, as pronounced in the three, but obviously, I don't know if you can see that, but obviously we will, we will do the testing, okay. Everybody, I actually asked this question. Let me just put it down here. I asked this question. I'll put it on the screen right now over on Twitter. And I asked it on, where else? Did, I think I asked it on Facebook. I don't even know. I asked it all over the place. So what is your, did I already, hopefully I didn't ask this last week. What is the question of the day? What is your most um, anticipated Q3 
road running shoe purchase 2022. What are you gonna buy no matter what Q3 2022? The Nova Blast 3 did not win by a hair. All right, so here's the results right now. All right, there's the results. I believe, again, this was over on Twitter. So very interesting results. That's the question of the day. And that comment of the day, 19 uh, Kamau 79, uh, I'm feeling pretty much no difference after 350 miles of the Nova Blast 1. And it seems like I need to purchase a second pair of them before getting my hands on the two. So this is from a year ago from the Nova Blast 2 full review. ASIC should thank Seth because I'm feeling there's plenty of runners who would purchase the Nova Blast after these promising reviews. Here's the deal. I, I feel like I was pretty early in the Nova Blast game. Uh, you know, with the one, I don't remember all YouTubers or reviewers like getting really like into that lineup. And I got it early and listen, it's bad. I'm just going to say ASICs three years ago, different. Like I don't think, I personally don't think ASICs was really on the radar. You know, I think with the, the launching of the Metaspeed lineup, I think honestly, Sarah Hall, like ASICs, I, I really think is making a nice resurgence in the early 2020s. Um, so I'm excited to test the Nova Blast 3. It did change, so hopefully it didn't change too much. That's the concern out there around the world is did uh, ASICs change it up too much. But we'll see. It obviously gained some girth. Very, very interesting. Hopefully you can see all those numbers on your screen. That is today's unboxing vlog. Thank you, Running Shoe Companies. And again, a shout out to Unpause. Should we do the durometer for Unpause real quick? All right, here, now we're just riffing. Now we're just riffing. 30, it felt soft, 34, beautiful. That is fun. Oh, I love it. I, got, I don't even know their website, so I can't give it a shout out. But uh, if I do, I'll put it, I'll link it down below in the description. And as always, the Nova Blast 2 is available down below. All right, onward we go. We will toss it to um, boom, 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 some sort of Nova Blast vlog. You know, maybe a battle. Nova Blast versus something else right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.